Hi, I'm Lumen. As a new puppy owner, you may be wondering if you should crate or pen train. My parents did a lot of research and experimentation. Based on our experience, the answer is absolutely yes. Let me explain the benefits and share with you mom's secrets for making it easy. For a young pup, it's important to limit its freedom. Allow access to more of the house slowly, because you won't be able to follow it 24-7. Whenever it leaves your sight, accidents can happen. Puppy will give you potty surprises around the house. And worse, bite and swallow things that are dangerous. A crate creates a familiar den-like space for your dog. It provides safety and comfort, and offers a calming space for your dog to cope with overwhelming situations. Dog crates are useful outside the house, too. It's a safe way to transport your puppy in the car. And it's required when your dog travels with you on a flight. Pen training is another popular solution for limiting your puppy. A play pen has similar benefits to a crate, while giving your pup more space to operate. Crate works well at night as you want your puppy to sleep in it. Daytime. A pen can work better for stimulating your puppy with fun activities. Crate and pen complement each other, and it's best to master both. Now, mom's tips to make the training simple. The crate should be comfortable and flexible. For my first couple of nights, I preferred a small enclosure, a single room, was just enough space for a mat and pee pad. After a week, I felt more secure at the new home. Mom then expanded the crate to make my house bigger. A crate is a safe place for your dog, as well as its sleep area. <laughs> when I was still a baby, I had anxiety during nighttime. To keep me calm and feeling secured, Mom placed my crate close to her bed. Sometimes if I'm napping inside during the day, she would also cover up few of the sides with a blanket. It gave me the feeling of being in a den and helped me sleep like a baby. One important note regarding crate training. Keep your puppy naked. Remove the collar and dog tags to prevent any risk of strangulation. Now, here are the tips for pen training. Maintain a fun environment in the play pen. Make your puppy want to enter the pen and stay in it. Utilize various toys to keep the puppy stimulated and burn off excess energy. You want your puppy feeling tired before nighttime. Have a water bowl nearby, as your puppy will need to rehydrate while playing. Also, feed and have play sessions in the pen if you can. Essentially, you want to reinforce positive attachments to the pen. Avoid having your puppy in the pen for too long. Initially, mom would put me in the pen right before my meal. She would then watch me eat and play in it for another 30 minutes. After a week, I was quite comfortable having fun in the pen. Mom slowly ramped up the duration. Over time, I became fairly comfortable with it and can spend couple hours inside, keeping myself busy. 
One nice thing is that your pup might already have experience with crate or pen while at the breeder. In such cases, keep a similar routine at the new home. Ultimately, crate and pen training benefit both you and the puppy. Start as early as possible and have patience. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like for Lumen.